By the time the end of August, September, October rolls around, those are months that you do not want to prune your boxwoods. Now, you can always prune out dead, damaged, diseased parts of your boxwood, and there's certain things you have to take into consideration when you do that, but general pruning, and the reason is it's been a hot summer, you know, lots of rain, we haven't had a chance to get in the garden, we walk out and we go, oh wow, I forgot to prune my shrubs. And here's an example of a boxwood that has some growth, but it is not the time of year to prune it in the fall. Because if you do, then let's prune it. First of all, I don't like hedge trimmers, I like hand trimmers. So we're just gonna come in here and prune this like this. and we still have one or two months of new growth to occur. That new growth that's going to come up is going to look like this. And here is an example of last year's new growth that was frozen in the fall or winter. New growth in the fall does not have enough time to get hardened off. So it's soft, tender, succulent, you can move it, you can bend it, you can even pinch it off with your hands. It is too late to prune your boxwoods. Now, if for some reason you need it a little bit for a flower arrangement, you can go in and cut a, a piece here or there. That's great. But overall shearing of your boxwood is gonna get a lot of new growth and it's gonna freeze. And there's one other plant that this happens to a lot also. And let's take a look at that one. Taxus, or commonly known as you, is a foundation plant around many of our homes. Please keep in mind that the ewes do not like wet feet or waterlogged soils. A lot of times it comes off the house or the gutter system. But if you were to come in now, um, in the you know, beginning of fall, late summer, and shear this, you're gonna get a lot of new, young, tender growth like this, and it's gonna freeze. Here are some examples of some freeze damage from last year, and normally, it's gonna look like this by January, and if you put that up, just imagine your whole you being covered with this ugly, browning, damaged growth. Again, if you have a dead, dying piece, you can take a hand shears and prune it, but now is not the right time to prune your ewes. If you absolutely have to do some pruning or shearing in a garden in the fall, you have to be careful. Remember, pruning or shearing injures plants. What do plants do then? Immediately, they start to grow. So this is not the shears you want to use because you're going to be cutting off so much foliage that plant's going to get shocked in producing new growth. So don't use the hedge trimmers. But if you have to, you can use a hand pruners where you're going to come in and I am cutting less than 5% of this plant. So I'm not going to get all that new growth that is going to succumb to winter freezes or frosts. I'm Mark Viet. Join me next time in the garden. For more garden tips, go to inthegardenradio.com.